It's the Daily Special with Kimberly Ray Miller. Welcome to the Daily Special. It's Wednesday, June 4th, and later on today we've got a yellow phone interview. Also, uh, it's on politically, Obama McCain. Let the fighting begin. Ultimate showdown or whatever. I don't know. But that'd be fun. Wrestling between the candidates. That would be awesome. So, Pet Peeves Week. Um, Nancy wrote in yesterday and talked about her pet peeve about um, drug commercials. And Nancy, you're, you're right. And my favorite part of drug commercials is um, the voiceover because legally they have to tell you all of the side effects you could potentially have. And they always try to make it seem like really positive, like, do not use this drug if you enjoy positive social interactions, if you breathe <laughs> oxygen and like to go out in public. Side effects may include hives. If you have testicles, they may catch on fire and fall off. Your left breast will be larger than your right. I mean, like, they're so like awful, but they're like, ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I also, there's so many side effects that by the end, I'm always like, what was this drug for? I don't, I don't, I think I have asthma. I don't know. <laughs> what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Let's go to today's specials. The 20th season of The Simpsons is going to be the most profitable one for the actors. They will be each making $400,000 per episode. In other news, The Simpsons has been on for 20 years, meaning I am very, very old. <laughs> a homeless woman in Japan was arrested for living in a man's closet for over a year, which just goes to show that men don't know the importance of closet space. <laughs> And Masanobu Soto of Japan won this year's Masturbate-a-thon. He roped his wanker for 8 hours and 40 minutes, making him the loneliest SOB alive. I love food. I love everything about food. I love watching the Food Network as per my sex dream about Bobby Flay that I talked about last week. But I also love reading about food, and I read so many food blogs, and today we've got a great food blogger on the yellow phone, so let's call her. Hi, this is Kaylin. Everyone, this is Kaylin Denny, who writes the great blog, Kaylin's Kitchen. I'm so, blushing. You're blushing? Well, we'll, we'll imagine that, I'm a big, deep blush. Um, so yeah. Kaylin, how did this blog start? Well, it's, it's kind of a funny story, actually, I might be one of the few bloggers around who started a blog and I wasn't even using the internet at the time. I had always been a good cook. I used to be a caterer and so I had a lot of people who were asking me for recipes and my brother said, oh, you should just put them on a blog. Oh. But I, I never imagined what that really meant. But So I, I did that because it was such a pain. I was always having people ask me to send the recipes by email. I, I, you know, I certainly didn't envision what was going to happen. <laughs> Wow, so a lot of your blog has to do with the South Beach diet. Do you think that this is a, like a good diet? Absolutely, I think it's a good diet. I think eating foods that are low on the glycemic index is just such a great way to eat whether you follow the South Beach diet or not. I mean, it, not only will you lose weight if you do that, but also you have so much more energy and you just feel better. So Kaylin, what are some like quick and easy meals that you rely on? I have a little toaster oven that I just love. I make things like roasted fish, or baked tofu, which doesn't sound that great, but it was so delicious. I, I'm totally convinced you can take a, just about any vegetable in the world, toss it in a little olive oil and balsamic vinegar and roast it, and it's just delicious. Kaylin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for calling me. <laughs> honored. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, you too. Kaylin Denny, everyone. <laughs> in a toaster oven and learn something new every day on the Daily Special. And tomorrow, we're going out on the street to see what the stupidest thing people have done to lose weight is. See you then.